Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is currently the day before Thanksgiving to film in this. In America. I'm in the United States of America. I was gonna do an ASMR video, but then I realized I hate ASMR, so I'm not gonna do it. But I do have kinetic sand that smells like actual poison. So I have a, my own, one of my own shirts blocking my nose because I'm starting to get sick. And I'm gonna be hanging with my family when I'm sick. It makes total sense. Um, block my nose from the fumes of the sand so I don't get more sick. But I just wanted to come on here and say how grateful I am, thankful I am, for being a part of the YouTube community and just enjoying my time on here. And yes, I'm wearing rubber gloves because they sand stick. I accidentally added more water to my connect sand than I was supposed to, but I did. I accidentally added it. And so because of it, it sticks to my hand, so I have to like doctor gloves now. And, hang on. I'm very grateful for all my subscribers gamed over these past three years. I joined in 2016, the same year Dangerous Woman. I think on the same day. Either a month before Dangerous Woman came out or on the day Dangerous Woman came out. The exact day and year. Um, and my first YouTube video is still up to this day. I never deleted it. And if you want to go check it out, just go to my videos and scroll all the way down to the bottom or scroll up if you're on a phone. Um, <laughs> and click on my YouTube for my first YouTube video. It's basically just... A slideshow with uncopyrighted London Bridge of a picture of in the pictures of a tattoo my dad did because my dad used to be a tattoo artist he still is but he doesn't do it much anymore and that's all it is then my second video is when I was in Vermont because I have friends who live in Vermont I went to Vermont two years two years in a row um either 2016 and 17 uh, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, it was 2016 and 17. Because it was the years that skipped out in season 1 and season 2 came out. So I remember having to watch stream using stream stream websites for both of them. I'm putting the sand away. Hang on. So, yeah. But I... So... My second video is the second year. <clears throat> that was in Vermont. I went to this bunny farm and I recorded a video of bunnies cleaning themselves. And you can hear my voice and my friends in the farm owner's voice in the video. Now, I filmed it like, like, hang on, I'll use this like this instead of like this because I didn't know this was not the proper way to film. Also, I was very new to YouTube. It was my first video in over a year. Also, if you're new to my channel, first thing you need to know about me is I'm obsessed with Ariana Grande. I'm fucking gay. And I talk with my hands a lot. I don't know why I do. I just do. See, I don't know why I do it and I clap a lot. Yes, if you're an Ariana Grande supporter, even though her fame is dying and people need to realize that, that I may leave the fandom one day this year, but not one minute I'm going to like her, then the next minute I'm going to fucking hate her. What? Those people make no sense. But back to my YouTube history. So I'm just gonna, this is basically me saying I'm grateful for YouTube, I'm thankful for YouTube. It's helped me through a lot of my life, along with Ariana Grande, Gabby Hanna, music in general. And 
and I've met friends, or not, like, online friends that I don't know in person, don't talk too much through YouTube comments, or YouTube videos and stuff. Why am I still wearing this? The sand's away. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm gaining subscribers. I have more than I thought I would have. Like, the number I'm at right now. I don't know what it's at right now. Um, I thought it would take me, like, years. Like, five years. Like, in two years when I would have had this amount of subscribers I have. So my channel's grown faster than I thought. Now, I'm not one of those YouTubers that's like, Oh, subscribe me, I'm so determined to get a play button. As much as I am wanting a play button, I literally have no on these four walls for it to be up high where my animals won't touch it. Unless I want to rem want to move all of those pictures and all of those pictures. Now, awesome. I draw a lot and that's like a wonderful YouTube background that I thought of. I want to just like once I have enough room, I just want that to be my background and have like a tripod and stuff, but still use my phone and have like that corner be my filming corner and film YouTube videos there and do live streams there. And when you get bored of that, I can easily switch back to this wall, which this wall right here was originally supposed to be my... YouTube wall, but I was not going to film like this, where my phone is on by my expo, and I'm on my bed, and everyone seems to think, oh, you're going to be a famous YouTuber when you grow up, no, I want to be a game warden when I grow up, but if that doesn't work, I either want to be a famous singer or be a YouTuber, like, do like YouTube on the side or something like that. Like, I want to do YouTube, no matter what. But may I just be, like, a person, I'll have a person that's two jobs, or one isn't really a job, but I still get And, and then, 2017 is when my life went downhill. Manchester attack happened. I have, I have a really severe case of depression, and I was never diagnosed with it till recently, and I've had it for like, this is going on in the third year, I've had it, 17, 18, 19, yeah, three years, and I was just diagnosed with it like, beginning of this year. Uh, yeah, then YouTube has helped me through making me happy because not too many things make me happy in life. It's slowly come to that point where I'm getting more hate of Ariana than I am seeing no love from her. So it's like that hate is overpowering my love, which is making her one a not more happy place. But YouTube is one of those places like, oh, you watch YouTube, that's normal. I can deal with that. But being obsessed with a certain artist isn't normal, but you watching YouTube videos is normal for you. There are some kids out there, or should I say super fans out there, that would do anything to meet their favorite artist. They would even stalk their favorite artist on government websites, which I went on one by accident. I was trying to find my information, but I stumbled upon my dad, thinking it was me. No, it was my father. Then I was stupid and said, let's do Ariana Grande. Thankfully, that didn't go through because I was trying, the information I wanted to get, I couldn't get. I jokingly did Ariana Grande, so now there's a joke to my friends that make the Ariana Grande stalker. Hey, Ariana, if you see this video, which is high on like you won't, I am not a stalker of you. I'm just a really over-obsessed fan. So don't worry, I'm not going to stalk you or anything. I'm in a really small state called Maine, like, no one knows it exists, minus people that live in Maine, in New Hampshire. 
like people like I can talk to someone in California and they'll think I'm part of New Hampshire or Canada. I almost said Connecticut. Um like they'll think I'm in another state. Like they're they're gonna say Maine does not exist and I go look it up on a map. It does exist. So being from a very big state but not being popular It's kind of like a thing that's affected me. I know YouTubers that are from me that are popular. One of these, oh my god, I have to give this girl a shout out. She is so sweet and kind. She just recently, I don't know if she's still filming this or not, but she did a series on homeless youth in her city, which is also my city. And she worked with the local high school program for homeless youth. Check out that series. I'll link. I'll have the link to the first video in the series in the description down below. It's she is so sweet and kind. It's it's sad when you watch her series because it's homeless youth and you don't expect that to happen to youth people, but it happens and it's sad. But then then she has like comedy videos like her latest one. She go. She went to go say care. She went. She was Carolyn, right? But she was doing Thanksgiving video. She was do. She was doing them in instead of Christmas. She was doing them for Thanksgiving. She goes sing one in and do it. Like the door shut in my face. It's hysterical. I would go watch the video. I'm gonna link her YouTube channel down below, and the video to the series about homeless youth. And tell her the YouTube channel Ariana Grande sent you. Just so she knows. And she is subscribed to me, so if there's any chance you see this, Lizzie, if they're not already subscribed to you, because why wouldn't they not be? You are so sweet and kind. I don't know you in person, but just from your YouTube videos, you are so sweet and kind. But yeah, that basically leads me up to here. I've been posting a lot of videos, as you know. I have my two longest running series ever. This Hammond and Bram chat story. And my Google Translate series. I've lost my charger to my laptop that I use for streaming. So. <sighs> I'm going to use my mother's laptop. So I do want to get back on stream because December 6th, I'm with my mother. I want to record my reaction to Full House, Fuller House Season 5. Um, Camila, Be Camila Cabello's album to Romance. Oh, it's finally coming out. But yeah, that beats me where I am now my YouTube channel is still growing it's not growing that much but it's still growing I'm very thankful for being on YouTube my parents know about my YouTube channel so hello my parents that you actually do watch this also if my parents say this, why are you watching me? My YouTube videos, half the time I don't even know what I'm filming. Like, I don't remember filming it, but what did I just film? Also, and Jeffree Star. Oh my god. From the very first episode see, show. From when he did his, like, mini-series with Jeffree. The one he did last year. The first part of the one he did this year with all the palette reveal stuff. I would check both of them out, but I'm gonna leave the link to Lizzie's channel so you can subscribe if you're not, and the link to Lizzie's video for homeless youth in the description down below. But thank you guys so much for checking me out, and I just wanted to let you guys know I'm thankful for all of you who do watch this video. Please leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so I can get that fucking play button. Just kidding.
I literally would don't know where I would fit. I have a house full of four cats, one rabbit, and one dog. No animals are allowed in my house, in my room. So I'm hoping I don't get that play on my own. So I have a whole room dedicated to YouTube. Also, I literally have not listened to God Only Knowns by Pentaton since it came out and it's stuck in my, it's been stuck in my head all damn day. But yeah, guys, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.